Fellow Australians, it is my melancholy duty to inform you officially that in consequence of a persistence by Germany in her invasion of Poland, Great Britain has declared war upon her and that as a result, Australia is also at war. They rushed to enlist as Prime Minister Bob Menzies announced Australia had joined Britain in the fight for freedom, volunteering for the Royal Air Force's Bomber Command. In Lancaster and Halifax, bombers, they inflicted horrendous carnage. Massed squadrons of Lancasters dropping incendiary and high explosive bombs, creating firestorms that consumed whole cities. Like the annihilation of Dresden in 1945, a raid that remains controversial to this day. And suffered horrendous losses, 3,486 killed in action, another 650 killed in accidents. I served in, uh, in 622 Squadron, which was in three group at Bomber Command. It was an RAF squadron. My name is Peter Watson. Uh, I was a member of 101 Squadron at Ludford Magna in, in Lincolnshire. Yeah, only Christmas I remember uh, really well. Um, Sadly, my best friend was lost the night before on Christmas Eve over Bremen. And uh, so it was rather a dull Christmas day. I was stationed in 12 Group Fighter Command for two years. Then I went to Bomber Command at Skellingsorp in Lincoln. We all used to go and watch him take off and stand at the end of the runway and as they went we all and um, they went back. Time has not wearied these men and women. They look forward to their annual reunion condemned in 2020 by the pandemic. I'm hosting this today because my dad, Bob McCrossan, was a Pathfinder pilot and my mum, Marjorie, and her sister, Ivy, were both WAFs. Julie McCrossan is the reunion convener, a task she says she owes to these men. Some are centenarians, all are at least in their 90s. The fact that the men did go across the other side of the world, they did so much. They came back with so much, I suppose, emotional baggage from that time. They lost so many of their mates. They have gone through so much and they were not recognised when they came back as heroes. The veterans all retain vivid memories of the war, the loss of their mates and the lives they took. He came up almost beside us. I, I turned round and I could see it was one of the, the Germans. I said, right, get your guns ready and let's attack him. That's either we knock him out or he knocks us. So we knocked him out. And uh, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's, it's a tough business. And a call for young people to remember the sacrifices and never forget the bravery of those Australians. 10,000 Australians flew in Bomber Command during the whole space of the war. 3,486 were killed in combat, as they say, some 400 in aircraft accidents, so a total of 40%. I think it's very important that the young people today understand the sacrifices that uh, those who flew in Bomber Command went through.